Welcome to Lake Street News. I'm your host, Owen. I'm your host, Evan. Today we've got stories about restaurant closings, armed robbery, SpongeBob, and cold plunges. Sad news for many Ithaca residents as the local Moe's Southwest Grill, a popular burrito place, closed its location in Ithaca. A spokesperson for Moe's said that the closing was made on a franchise level. Personally, I'm very distraught about this Moe's closing. I'll never be the same. My life will never be the same. I am very sad about the loss of our Moe's. I mean, I never really went to that location, but it's just so heartbreaking. I regret the loss of Moe food. Yeah, it's just... It's... It's so sad, I can't, I can't, it's just, I had my first lemon there, and, and it was really sour. <laughs> and they had great cookies too, even better than Subway. <laughs> it is unclear whether the restaurant will ever open again. That's a shame. I always liked that burrito place. A teen has been arrested for attempted armed robbery here in Ithaca. On December 30th, Sean J. Reese, an 18-year-old from Binghamton, attempted to rob the Dandy Mini Mart here in Ithaca, armed with a rifle. He fled the scene, and police later found him and the evidence from the crime nearby. He is now in Tompkins County Jail with a court date for January 4th. Who lives in a theater under the sea? SpongeBob SquarePants! <laughs> Running to Places is coming to Lake Street Theater in Ithaca to perform SpongeBob SquarePants the musical. Follow SpongeBob and friends as they embark to save Bikini Bottom. Performances are Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, the 13th, 14th, and 15th. Tickets are free. They can be reserved at runningtoplaces.org. Make sure you reserve seats before it's too late. Speaking of underwater idiots, the participants of the Ithaca Chill Challenge braved the icy waters of Cayuga Lake on New Year's Day. The Chill Challenge is an annual fundraiser where people donate to go take a dip in the freezing waters of less than 43 degrees. Prizes were also given out to the swimmers with the best costumes. This year, the fundraiser raised over $50,000 to the Ithaca Community Recovery Charity, so at least it was worth being colder than my wife's lasagna. <laughs> That's all, folks. Tune, Tune in next, next time for another <laughs> episode of Lake Street, Street News. News. <laughs> Damn. The, the impulse, the impulse, not the impulse. Don't fix it in post. Don't fix it in post. Fix it in post. Fix it in post. Taxes. <laughs>